Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm currently sat in my BMW 130i which as we know has the infamous BMW N52 engine and today we are going to be doing a oil change so we have some fresh new oil we have this Manol 5W30 LL04 spec and then we have a fresh new oil filter I like to use Bosch never had any problems with with Bosch filters um, always generally pretty good quality and today we are also going to be doing a engine flush so we have this Manol uh, motor flush here and uh, I've never actually done an engine flush before but because there is some quite large gaps between some of these service intervals in the service history um, I thought it'd just be good to do an engine flush just to try and get rid of any sludge buildup. Um, I, ha I have actually taken a look into the rocker cover on the engine and it does look like there is a little bit of sludge buildup. So hopefully this thing will work well and um, yeah, hopefully we don't run into any major problems doing it. Um, but we are going to get outside. I will uh, show you um, what it looks like inside the rocker cover and then we will proceed in doing the rest of the oil change. Okay, then, so if we remove the oil filler cap like so, if you take a look in there, now bear in mind it is quite hard to see, but if you have a look on this spring right here, see there is kind of quite a little bit of um, build up. Now if you have a look on the camshaft lobe, that looks you know, nice and clean, it doesn't look scored or anything, but it does look like there is a bit of um, sludge build up, so we do want to try and get rid of um, as much of that today as possible. Um, so hopefully the uh, hopefully the engine flush does its job, and um, yeah, like I said, doesn't cause us any major issues. Okay then, so the engine is up to operating temperature. Now what I'm gonna do is pour this engine flush in. If you're wondering what it looks like, that's what it looks like, it just looks like a very, very thin oil. We're just going to go ahead and pour that in now. Let's put the cap back on. And then we'll start the engine back up and let it run for about 10 minutes. And while the engine flush is doing its thing, I'm actually going to get the car up in the air on ramps to get it ready for the oil change. Okay then, so the engine has actually been running now for about 10-15 minutes, so it is properly warm. The radiator fan even kicked in as well, and I'm actually going to show you what the inside of the rocker cover looks like. Now, it's hard to really tell, but it does actually look um, a little bit cleaner. Now, I'm guessing we're going to have to do um, quite a few oil changes to get rid of, you know, the whole lot of uh, sludge buildup. But yeah, definitely looks better with that uh, with that motor flush. So we're going to put that back on, and then what we need to do next is remove the oil filter. And I actually have this handy little cap. It just uh, it saves ruining your um, oil filter cap. So this just pops on. It's the exact size, and I can put a three eighth drive on there undo it and uh, then remove the oil filter. Okay, so this should just crack loose. Yeah, that wasn't been up tight at all. Now I'm not gonna remove this fully, I'm just gonna kinda let it drain down a little bit first before I uh, lift it up, because otherwise oil will go everywhere. Um, but I like to do the oil filter before draining the oil because obviously if you drain the oil first put the sump plug back in then do the oil filter you're just going to have the dirty oil from the oil filter drain back into the sump so i like to do the oil filter first and uh yeah on first inspection doesn't look too bad doesn't look too dark i think most of the oil's drained out of the filter so we can attempt to lift this out now lift this out now all we need to do is remove the filter from the filter housing cap. And as you can see, we have already removed our tool. So the filter should just pull out of the filter cap like so. And we obviously we need to keep the cap itself. And we also need to keep this part as well. This goes through the center of the filter. Do not throw this away. This needs to be removed. 
and it should just push out it's quite a tight fit there we go and this is the filter that we throw away now then we'll open up our new oil filter and obviously we have the filter itself and we should have a few seals in here so we have a large one that is for this one on here for the for the cap itself uh, then we have a new copper washer that's for the sump plug then we have a very small o-ring that is for this one on here and obviously that needs to be replaced so we'll uh, we'll remove that one first okay that's that taken off and we'll slide the new one on I'll just steal a bit of oil Yeah, that's the new seal on. And we just need to remove this one. Again, steal a little bit of oil. And slide this into place. Like so, and that is these ready with the new seals on. We can now put the new filter in place. Not too sure if there is a top and a bottom. I imagine this is the top with the writing round. So we'll uh, slide this down into place. There we go, should click in. And then we can put it back into our oil filter housing cap. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do is install the new oil filter. I'm only just going to put it in loose, I won't be talking it up yet. We'll, uh, we need to do that after we've drained the oil. And now that we're under the car we can locate the oil drain plug, which is this thing right here. It is a 17 millimeter. so I'm going to go ahead and crack that loose. There we go, and we can do the rest by hand. We just need to be careful that we don't get oil everywhere. There we go, and I've dropped the plug. Not a big deal though, we can uh, retrieve that after. Oh, no, managed to get it. And now I'm just gonna leave that to drain, it'll probably take five or 10 minutes. Um, but we're in no rush here, we'll just let it drain out completely um, before reinstalling the uh, drain plug. And while we are waiting for the oil to drain out of the oil pan, we can actually get the plug ready for reinstallation. So all we're going to do is remove the old copper washer, give it a good clean up, and then install our new copper washer, like so. And now that the oil has pretty much finished draining, it's now time to reinstall our sump plug. And with it reinstalled, we can actually go ahead and torque it down to 25 newton meters. And now that the plug is torqued up, I'm actually just going to give this area a good clean down. And now I'm actually going to torque the oil filter cap down to 25 newton meters as well. There we go. 
And now all we need to do is put some fresh oil in. But before we do that, let's get the car back on the ground so it's on a flat level surface. And now that the car is back on the ground, it's now time to fill up with oil. Now, this engine should hold around 6.5 litres, but obviously it's impossible to drain the entirety of it. There is always still going to be some left in there. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put 5 litres in and then see if it registers on the level sensor. If not, um, we'll obviously go ahead and put a little bit more in, but I'm expecting to put in around 6 litres in total. So we'll go ahead and put this in first. Okay, so that's around five liters in there and we'll actually go inside and check to see if it registers on the level sensor. Okay then, so we'll place our key fob in the ignition. We'll turn the ignition on and we'll cycle through to check our oil. Oil level seems to be okay, but I am actually gonna go ahead and put probably another half a liter in because I know for sure five liters is not enough so i'd rather have um you know just that little bit extra in you know for when we do the first start there we go then that should do us And there we go, it says oil level is okay, but I'm actually gonna take it for a drive, switch it off, let the oil drain down, and then check the level again. Okay then, so just got back from a little test drive, and to be honest, the oil level sensor didn't actually dip below the maximum, which I guess, you know, that little bit of extra oil that we put in was enough to keep it at the max mark. Um, now I will of course uh, continue to check it over the next couple of days just to make sure it doesn't dip below that. Um, I'm really not a massive fan of you know just relying on the um, oil level sensor but you know with the N52 you really have uh, no other choice you know there's no physical dipstick um, so you kind of just have to rely on that sensor to give you an, an accurate reading um, but I'm pretty sure it's there or thereabouts you know we probably put five and a half to six liters in so you know that that's about right with you know how much this engine um, should hold uh, with an oil change um, so yeah like I said I will continue to just check it over the next few days make sure it stays at the max and if it doesn't stay at the max then I will of course top it up to the max um, but yeah I think that's it I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I know it's um, been a pretty basic video you know it's just an oil change um, but um, yeah, this is the start of my N52 videos, you could say. Um, I have so many more planned, you know, mods and um, uh, service items that I need to change out. Um, but I've only just got this car, so there is, of course, you know, so much uh, still to come on it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so. And I'll see you all in that next one. Peace!